This question is asking us to solve for the value of x, and x squared is equal to 0.81. Don't be surprised if you see a question like this on the calculator off portion of your exam, and don't let the decimals fool you. I'll show you a trick on how to solve this one. What we're going to do is first turn this into an equation where we have x equals. So, I have an x squared here that's preventing that. I need to do the opposite of a square, which is a square root. So I take the square root of x squared, but whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So that simplifies us down to x equals the square root of 0 0.81. Don't forget your square root. Okay, now this may look complicated. If you have a calculator, feel free to type it in, the square root of 0.81, and you'd be done. But if you don't have a calculator, you don't need to sit there guessing. Chances are they've given you a perfect square. They've just given it to you in decimal form. Now, 81. We know a number that's 81. 9 times 9 is 81. Well, it turns out that the square root of 0.81 follows the same rules. So you will just get 0 0.9. Now if you're not sure how that works, you can try multiplying it out on the side. 0 0.9 times 0 0.9, well, 9 times 9 is 81. Bring down our 8. Okay, 81, but we have 2 decimal places. One right here, one right here. In the tens place, and in the tens place. So I need to move my decimal over two places. So 0.9 times 0.9 gives me 0.81. So it turns out that that indeed is our answer. So if you end up getting to a spot right here where you get the square root of a decimal number and your calculator is off, take a look at the decimal number and see if it reminds you of a perfect square. If it does, feel free to test it out, because chances are that will be your answer.